Lie detector tests are getting an upgrade. Our cameras were rolling as some Utah students got a first-hand look at the new tech. We'll show you next. You're watching Fox 13 News. Let's connect. It's the world's first lie detection technology using eye movement to detect deception. Today, the company Converis opened its doors to a group of 14 to 17 year olds. And as Fox 13's L. Thomas shows us, they're teaching a few lessons on tech startups. The software is called Eye Detect. It uses this small little bar to track your eye movement and see if you're lying. It was developed by researchers at the University of Utah, and now it's being distributed around the world for companies to use. So we have uh, this product being used across more than 450 customers in 40 countries in the world. We have thousands of tests uh, in over 25 different languages. The software has one main goal, see if you're lying and hopefully help companies to mitigate corruption and eliminate loss. It's based on the scientific fact that um, it takes more mental effort to tell a lie than to just tell the truth. So when we lie, there's an increase in mental effort. That increase in mental effort has an involuntary effect on the eyes. Today, they brought in a group of students. So we wanted to expose them to career opportunities, but also give them you know, an idea of what it's like to, to be part of a startup. While they were there, they let them test out a portion of their software, known as the number test. Have them choose a number between uh, two and nine, write that number down, and then they're to lie about the number that they wrote down. Through the series of questions, they rank your pupil data. Then they choose your number based on where that data was the most significant. The machine thinks you picked the number two. I picked the number two. The test is 86% accurate, and it actually works better on adults. So I couldn't beat it. But what about a group of 14 to 17 year olds? What's your number? Seven. <laughs> Did it get it right? Yeah. So Garrett, we believe your number was four. Is that right? Yes. Where's your piece of paper? If the students were able to beat the test, they got a $20 gift card. But if they failed the test like I did, then they got this sticker. Looks like I'm a bad liar. In Lehigh, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.